Hello people, how are you? Welcome to iOS Pro Hacker and in this quick video, I'm going to show you that how you can fix your iPhone if it is stuck on iPhone is disabled screen without using iTunes. Yes guys, this method is totally free and it works on all iPhones, iPads, iPods. I have an iPhone 6s, so I'm gonna fix this phone. So let's get started to the tutorial. So the first step is to download a firmware file of an iPhone from ipsw.me. And here you need to select your Apple device, which device you want to fix. And I'm gonna select iPhone because I have iPhone 6s. And here are all the list of the iPhones to select. But if you're having trouble in finding your iPhone, so simply click on identify my device in the top menu of web page. And now here select your device, iPhone, iPad or iPod. I'm gonna select iPhone cause I have an iPhone 6s. Now the last thing is to put our phone's model number into this box to identify which phone do we have. So you will find the little model number written on the back side of your iPhone, iPad, iPod. So simply fill that box with your model number. And now click the green button and here you will see the list of firmwares. Uh, you need to click uh, on the green, the red ones will not work. So just click on this and you will see the download button here. So click the download button and it will start downloading a file, a firmware file for your iPhone. And it is depend on your internet speed because it's a bigger file. So it takes time, depends on your internet speed. So I have already downloaded it and copied it to the desktop. You can see the file, this one here. And now we are going to flash our iPhone. For that, we need to download 3 tools and we're not going to use iTunes. So visit 3u.com and press this big download button to download the tool. I have already installed this on my computer. So without enough talking, let's open 3 tools and start flashing our device. Now here is the 3 tools and the next step is to connect our iPhone, iPad, iPod to our computer. Make sure to use original Apple Lightning data cable to avoid errors while flashing. And now click on Flash and JB in 3 tools and now here into the Pro Flash and you will see import firmware button here just click it and now find that firmware file we have downloaded just now which i have copied to my desktop so i'm gonna select it and now simply press the flash button at the bottom so the last step is to put our phone into the dfe mode and 3 tools is showing the steps for that and here you can see uh, this is for iphone 8 and later devices this, this is for iPhone 7 and here are the steps to put iPhone 6s or early devices into the DFE mode. So I'm going to follow these steps to put my phone into the DFE mode. So it's simple uh, power button and volume button trick. So let's try it out. I have an iPhone 6s so I'm going to put it into the DFE mode. So to put it into the DFE mode we need to press and hold the power and home button and when the screen goes black release the power button and keep pressing the home button oh i did it the wrong way because when we put our phone into the dfe mode our phone screen remains black so let's try it again and let me change the usb port you can also change the usb port if you are having trouble so let's try it again and unplug and plug it in again okay now press and hold the power and home button and when the screen goes black uh, just release the power button and keep pressing the home button and soon you will see your phone here you can see the three tools has detected my iphone and here you can see the status iphone 6s it is detected now the flashing process has started now uh, you have to wait until the process completes it takes about three to five minutes to complete the process and I don't want to make a long video so I'm gonna skip this part and we'll make the video speed faster. I forgot to tell you 
One more thing, that this will erase your iPhone, iPad, iPod and your old data will be erased from your device. And when the phone is in disabled state, it is not possible to fix it without losing the data. Yes, unfortunately, there is no way to get the data back to iDevice if it is stuck on disabled screen. Sorry for that. So the phone has turned on. Simply set up your phone now. Select language, country, whatever. So this was uh, the method to fix your iPhone, iPad, iPod if it is stuck on disabled screen without iTunes. If you're having any kind of errors while flashing, so use iTunes instead of three U tools. So it may work for you. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you like this video. So don't forget to share the video, comment the video and like the video. Peace out.